morning and uh, welcome to the shed. So we're going to be continuing with our fighting conch project today, hopefully finishing it. Uh, at the end of the last one you saw that I finished the base and that went pretty well uh, but I was a little bit worried about the uh, the top half because I'm not sure that the ridge that connects the two is going to be uh, defined enough. It's actually, actually on here. Anyway so we're going to uh, make a box for this today. Um, also it's a, that one's actually all right. The shape on that one's okay, but I need to make a box for this one. But somehow I've ended up with a bit of a sort of a weird wedge shape on this one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm also running out of silicon again. Bloody expensive. Um, yeah. So I had a bit of a bit of a mare when I repaired this uh, this mould here. The one which had had the the wall was too thin, if you remember. Uh, so I added another layer of that on there. But I had a bit of a nightmare. I uh, filled up the mould, went to get a cup of coffee. When I came back, my silicon was all on the floor, which I was obviously very upset about because it was about I don't know, 10 quid's worth all over the floor. So I've had to cut that up and that's going to go back in one of the next moulds. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Also need to give a shout out to uh, the winner of our guess the, uh, <laughs> the, the price I paid for my gas cylinder competition. Oh, it's good fun on this channel, isn't it? Anyway, so it was one by Otto's World. I'll put a link to his channel up there. He does sort of like conspiracy videos, that sort of thing. Good stuff it is. Anyway, so yeah, well done, Otto's World. He guessed eight pounds. I actually paid a tenner, but I feel like I should have paid eight pounds. So I think he was he was the nearest. The other the only other guess I got was a thousand pounds. Not sure if that was serious, but anyway. Okay, let's crack on. Build this mold box, and then hopefully by the end of this, we can do a pour of the main mold see how it goes i've already got a base i'll probably use that one as a as a demo even though i don't think it's fit for sale excellent one more thing i made some uh, cleats which i think i missed from the video for the um uh, water fountain water feature so i made that using a mold of this little piece of wood that went really well bought myself a file set so I can now actually clean up things quite easily uh, and that makes a big difference so really happy with that okay that's it let's crack on one thing I've been experimenting with is um, doing time-lapse which looks okay um, but I'm wondering whether I should do a sort of speeded up live version perhaps if you could let me know I might try both in this video perhaps if you could let me know in the comments down below what you think is best what works best um, and you know I'll do accordingly. Okay, I'm going to start to build the mould box now. Um, I'm going to try this one using a speeded up version. Um, see how that looks. So, in a moment, I'll speed it up. Okay, that's the mould box built for that one. Uh, I've already poured the uh, other half of that one so I can make, build that box later on. Bit, a bit messy this one, might tidy it up a bit later. 
but it'll do the job. So I'm going to do the second one. This is a bit weird because it's a strange shape, but I'm sure I can make something fit. Okay, I'm going to do this one time lapse, and then let me know in the comments down below which you prefer. Probably a bit of both, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. It's just an experiment. <laughs> Okay, so that was th the second one as a time lapse. Bit of a uh, bodge this one because it basically is the wrong shape. So anyway, I can always tidy that up if I need to, but that will probably hold it in position. Might need to put a little bit of a bottom on it. Okay, let's do a lead pour. Okay, so that's been poured. Still going to be hot. 50-50 uh, chance. I think we had a bit of leakage somewhere. Not exactly sure where though. Can't see where it came out. Let's have a look. Ooh. Wow, that looks all right, doesn't it? Bit of clean up, that could be good. Now we obviously, we don't know if it fits the... Uh... I don't want to break my mould. I'm not sure why that's not coming out. Probably because it's just big. I think it's just expanded so much that the mould is now off. Oh, flipping out, it's hot. Struggle. There we go. We're out. That is the shell. Gonna need some cleaning up, but that's okay. I think if a bit of tidy up there at the top. Okay, let's see if I can see how it fits. Can you see that? I mean, obviously, it's not tidied up. Does it fit? Well, the first answer is no. Second answer is with a bit of banging. That looks all right. Okay, I'm going to clean that up and then I'll show you the uh, process where we oxidize it and give it a patina. There you go. Instagram shot there. I did also forget to put my maker's mark inside the mold, but for this one, that doesn't matter. Okay, let it cool. So that turned out pretty good. There are a couple of uh, small areas of not exactly concern. Just here it's a little bit thin. Um, and also here, that can be done by just taking a little bit out of the mold. So I can fix that up. I've cleaned it up, it doesn't quite fit also. So also need to take off a bit of, uh, bit of the mold in there to give it a better fit. But, I am pretty happy with that. What do you think? The detail of the shell has come out beautiful. Calling that a success. Three out of three. Let's get it patinaed up.
so um, yeah, we had another successful uh, day in the shed or two days in the shed. This is the finished article. I've uh, oiled it and buffed it slightly. I'm not 100% sure about the grey. I think maybe the black, the blacker patina might work better on this. There are a few little errors on there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a small hole. Um, but yeah, generally happy with that. Gonna get those photographed up, get it on Etsy. Although this one itself won't won't be sold because it needs a few corrections. Um, so yeah, another success. Not sure what I'm doing next. I'll have to have a little think about that, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Probably something a bit smaller because it's costing me a fortune in silicon with these massive things that I keep doing. Okay, um, that's it really. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe. A lot of people seem to be watching the videos but not actually subscribing and I really need to get my subscribers up uh, to get me paycheck from uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, so please like, subscribe, do all the things you need to do. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.